What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. If you guys have not seen part one right here of the custom cage build that we're doing here in the back of the ranch, make sure you guys go check it out right now. But what we're doing right now, if you guys saw in the last part of where we left off, we are about to get the footer in the exact place where we want the cage to sit on top so that we can hurricane strap this thing onto the ground so it won't fly away when we have Florida storms. So what we're doing right now is getting the footer in place. My dad's making sure everything is pristine and perfect. And we're gonna have, I think this is what, maybe about four inch gap? We have about four inch gap right there that the cage is gonna sit right on top of so that it won't fly away. So uh, follow along you guys, we're getting this footer in place. We're gonna pour the concrete, add everything we have to do so we have a nice perfect little slab of a footer and then bring that cage on top of here. So uh, follow along and let's get this moving. All right, so adding all the mesh inside of there. This is just a little way so that the mesh, the concrete won't break later on when it's sitting in place, but perfect, ready to go. We added a little bit of rocks to keep the mesh off the, uh, ground. the ground. And yeah, we're getting all together, getting the rebar in place. And all we have to do now is pour the mesh, pour the concrete before the sun goes down. It is 4 p.m. here on the ranch right now. And the sun has already passed all the palm trees. That is insane. Normally the sun's been up to like, I don't know, like almost 7.30, but you know, time changing and all that stuff. So it's getting dark early, but um, that means we gotta get feeding and everything done a lot, lot earlier here on the ranch. But other than that, almost there. Gonna get the bags of concrete, pour this stuff so that tomorrow it'll be nice and dry. And later tomorrow evening, we could possibly put this cage back on top. But uh, let's start pouring concrete. But I to know. All the tortoises are eating. Everybody is having a good old time eating food. We just got a little concrete mixer. Jacob brought it because he's like, we're not stirring that with a shovel. It's normally how I do it. I guess I just, I don't know, work smarter, not harder. But uh, we got the concrete bags. We're gonna get the concrete. Look at them, look at them. Running from the table. Wait, stop it. <laughs> Well, he's a mean pig. We got the concrete bags. We got 60 pounds each. We'll put them inside there. Maya, turn on the hose over there. And then we'll start mixing. We're going to start filling up the footer. So let's do it. Hey! Ah! Let's do it. Probably one bag at a time, right? Yeah. Definitely. You got a razor blade? No. <laughs> Don't got that either. <laughs> All right. Tell me when you stop. Alright. You know? Alright, we'll keep going. <laughs> Alright, get that machine in there as I was throwing that strap up. We need water. We need some water. We're gonna make it a little bit drier, you guys, so it's not so wet. Because the way we made this little design of a footer, the um the wood is gonna make a little bit come through. See that? Look at the hermit tortoise. Are. Eating up! Everybody's eating, everybody's having a great old time. But um yeah. My god, I should have had one of those way back in the day. Somebody what happened? It was in then. Make it a little bigger. Let's do the right whole bag. Yeah, no number one. Mine, you gotta turn off my water. Water go! Turn off the water. Run. Okay. Maybe a little water. Stand a little bit. Don't turn it off yet. That's it. All right, we got the first one in. Maybe not. You're missing. <laughs> there we go. All right, we gotta get a little bit more. Probably gonna mix it a little bit longer. Yeah, a little bit more, man. My hands gonna be nice and rough, you guys. All right, so another bag. Yep. Yeah, maybe it makes it a little bit longer. Yeah. But that's all right. It's gonna be a nice freaking footer, I'll tell you that much. And this stuff dries pretty fast. It's a high strength concrete mix. So Cassandra wanted to be on the other side of the camera. She said she wants to use a little bit, work on the concrete a little bit. Got Jacob doing the mixing. Cassandra's making make sure it's all even. Got the levels out and making it all pristine and making it perfect. And uh, yeah, making it happen. Do it. So as you guys can see, we've been really grinding here at the ranch. Um, 
the weather has been pristine right now so that is like what's making me really happy getting things done we got that done we're about to get this done this will be completely done probably tomorrow and it's gonna be really really dope look at the cranes cranes are already up that's the good sign right there that it is getting dark out and sun's about to go down but we have lights underneath the building so that helps a lot too jacob's bringing in more concrete bags as well uh definitely gonna need a couple more lights out here in the future so i gotta call my electrician bring some more lights out here and stuff but other than that getting it done concrete just about done we just need another bag or so to go right here and then we're gonna let it dry 24 hours not even by tomorrow will be solid it's not that much concrete and we can pick this up tomorrow drop it on there strap it down and see what we're gonna put inside this cage if you guys didn't see the first part of this video uh yesterday or the day before whenever we decided to post it in the comments we still don't know exactly what animal we want to put inside of the enclosure so let me know in the comments and see what you think part three will definitely figure out what we're going to put inside here and it will be complete but this is still part two check out maya, maya she's chilling right there. she's like where's my food she wants a chick or a rat right now she's looking around she's flying around but uh a couple more bags like this video 10,000 likes i know you guys can make it happen custom cages are the people to go to to make one of these dope freaking cages so uh let's do it all right you guys check it out so it is like part day two of getting all of this put together and as you can see the last part you guys saw we were making the footer of this enclosure and it is completely done we have a couple little spots that we missed but as you saw it was my sister me and jacob putting it all together got a little bit of missing there with the rebar and stuff but that's okay we're just gonna get a little bit of uh another type of concrete mix it doesn't have rock in it i forgot put it down in the comments you know what i'm talking about we're gonna use some of that stuff mortar i think it's called mortar we're gonna get that make it nice and uh thick rub it all around make it nice and smooth and fix it all up so then it's nice and smooth all around the sides but other than that you guys it looks pristine it looks amazing i mean what do you guys think custom cages what do you guys think i think this looks absolutely insane here on the back of the ranch this set of the property looks freaking outstanding i think it really looks really dope I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys like this video? Put it down in the comments. What do you guys think? But where you see Willie sitting right now and where the male Cape Baron Goose is at, actually, we should get a name for him. Put it down in the comments. What should we name the Cape Baron Goose male? We got Missy. We need something else. But we got a lot of pond pebbles or pond river rock right here. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to lay it all here because obviously we don't want to leave it just sand. It's going to look ugly. So what we're going to do right now is start laying the rocks down. We have a bunch of mulch and topsoil. We're going to live. Uh, lay some topsoil inside of there and then add some mulch as well and then we're gonna add some plants and then set up our enclosure for an animal that's coming for an animal that's coming soon so make sure you guys put it down in the comments what animal you think we should put inside of here if you guys didn't check out the last video of building this cage here the cayman and louis cage go check it out see how we did it it was absolutely insane it is done it's complete and it's amazing we have maya next door to the cayman cage as well as you guys can see we got all the rocks done all that stuff but um let's start laying down some rock getting this bad boy freaking done but i mean we did a pretty dope job of this what, what kind of circle is this it's not an octagon because it's not eight decagon decagon am i right you guys decagon i don't know 10 sides, 10 sides, no put it nine. down, those 10 sides, promise, 10 sides, you, you want to count together you guys, let's count together how many sides it is, so here's the door, here's the door, <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oh I counted 9, 10 sides baby, alright, so let's lay the rocks down and uh, let's do it, so we only bought about 10 bags of Pond River Rock and as you can see, pretty much just did that right there and that really was not enough so we're gonna have to go get more river rock but it's already going down this sunlight goes down very fast as you guys saw a couple seconds ago as well uh we have to get other things done we have a lot of chores here on the ranch to get things done so um get back to you in just a couple seconds and it's gonna look like this again because we're gonna be doing more but all of this will be done because we're gonna have it all cleaned up as in all the little patching will be completed and yeah we're not gonna be able to strap down this enclosure right right now or as in strapping it connecting to the concrete because it takes about 30 days for the concrete to cure so we don't want to connect anything to the concrete uh what we're probably gonna do is get a piece of rebar a u-shaped rebar and put it in and anchor it down to the ground like that 
just so that we don't connect the concrete until it cures after about a month and then we'll strap it down correctly but we shouldn't have any more storms at all that are heavy winds anymore because it's winter's approaching very soon and if you haven't noticed already you guys we have a beautiful merch stop right now go check it out on blakesexoticanimalranch.com and on top of that custom gauges you guys are amazing so we are back and we have a sweater on so if you guys haven't checked out blakesexoticanimalranch.com we have a brand new apparel out as well so go check it out you guys pretty dope front back it is nice it is soft it is amazing but look at this you guys we got the whole entire enclosure just about done so in the comments like we've said a couple times in this video already what animals should we put inside of here we mulched it out we put hibiscus in there everything is animal safe for any animal we decide to put inside of here it is completely rocked out all the way around the cage is bad to the bone check it out i mean i could go and look at this door door opens up perfect i mean it is freaking dope so i hope you guys enjoyed part two of building this cage setup i think it's looking really cool make sure you give this video a thumbs up check out the apparel and go to the description you guys custom cages got this for us and it is dope i really really am happy with it all and i can't wait to show you guys on part three on what we decide to put on here so subscribe to the channel you guys put those post notifications on like this video let's get 10,000 likes and i will see you guys all later Peace out, everyone.